Hey guys, we are back with this week's new releases and I'm so excited. We have such like a ton of really great stuff this week and I'm so excited to show you guys. So first we're gonna jump in with restocks. This week the only thing being restocked is the Misfit Florals kit. This is the final restock at, since I already had another restock a couple weeks ago. But quite a few of you requested to bring this back because you loved it so um, I decided to bring it back. So I'll do a quick run through of this because it's already um, and another new releases video. So we're just gonna kind of run through it real quick. So um, yeah, we'll have the full kit back. We will also have the mini kit back, which I forgot to bring down from upstairs. But you can go back in the, one of the older videos or just look on my Instagram if you are interested in seeing that. We will also have the IMAX from that kit. And we also have the appointment labels from that kit. So it is a full restock of Misfit Florals. And then, oh, we will also have the Ultimate Sheet from Misfit Florals as well. And then we will have, I guess we'll get into all the new releases this week, which are so exciting. I am really, really excited. So we brought back the Garden Party Kit, and I am obsessed. This was honestly my favorite kit from last year. I think it came out around this time last year as well, and I was just in love with it and I decided to bring it back this year and revamp it and I love it even more I'm just so excited so I did brighten up all the colors a little bit I made the green a little bit brighter and I kind of brought in a few different patterns so it's not exactly the same um, it's fairly different but the colors are all pretty similar and then here is the weekend manner similar to last time but I changed it to hello weekend and put a pretty different fonts I changed all the fonts up too I really love this font I think it's so dreamy and romantic and it's just a whole like got mystical like secret garden party kind of thing I love it so this is the first page and then here are the check boxes you guys I die these are so so cute and I love having these little different patterns that match it below it's just I'm obsessed I just love it so much and then here is the functional page and I'm also obsessed with this. Back when I first made this, this page didn't exist at all like this. So it's re it was really fun to remake it now. And I love these appointment labels. We'll have a full sheet of those coming up. So I'll show you guys that too. And I'm obsessed with these. And I love these bill dues with that font. It's just stunning. I'm just so in love with how this kit turned out. And then here is the bottom washi. Pretty similar. I think I use the same patterns. Um, I think they're all the same. But um, yeah, so the bottom washi didn't change up too much. And then we have the full boxes. I changed the fonts up. I changed the boxes up a little bit. I have some different patterns in here than I did the first time around, but a lot of them are similar. Um, and the quote box said, says, no one is too old for fairy tales, which I love. I love this like old timey storybook font and then like a like handwritten like type of font in there for fairy tales. I just think it's so, so pretty. It tells a like, cool story, I think. I don't know. I just really get lost in this kit. It's so like, to me, it's just so, it's just, I don't know. It gives me a whole like secret garden party type of fairy tale vibe. And I love that so much. And then here is the deluxe sheet, which I think is super cute. So, so fun. I love it. I love the little twinkling lights across the top of this. So cute. And then for extras, we have the um, Garden Party IMAX, so cute. And we have my favorite page of all, I think, this entire week. Well, I don't know, actually, it's tough, but I really love this page. This is the Garden Party Ultimate sheet when it has the glitter headers, all the checklist flags, an extra full box, and this gorgeous deco. These two were from the original kit, and it says Summer Sips on this little bottle, this little like, mason jar. And then um, it has Garden Party here on this little banner and then there's another banner here and another kind of like floral I don't know thing these these two will fit across the one day in the Erin Condra vertical planner they're 1.5 inches as um, this is as well and then a couple different floral arrangements I love this so so cute and then it's another gorgeous garden party appointment labels I did it in different all the different glitters and colors and I'm obsessed it's absolutely stunning I just love these so so much and then we have a garden party mini kit as well. So here's the first page. These are the four full boxes I chose. And if you pick up the ultimate kit, like usual, you'll have another full box on here that is different than these. I want it to be complimentary because um, I know a lot of people like to pick this up to have the extras. And then you have all the glitter hairs and extra stuff that um, would, I think would be really useful for a mini kit. So here's this, I was able to fit the full weekend manner. It is a little bit smaller and definitely a little bit shorter, um, but I was able to fit it and I still love it. 
And then here is the washi and functional type page. And then you have all of the just different little things and headers and boxes and all that stuff. So that is the mini kit for garden party that will be up this week. I also don't have any plans of restocking the garden party. Just like last week with the summer lights, I since I'm bringing it back, it's like a revisited kit. I don't didn't want to have two weeks of restocks of it just because I didn't think it would sell that much. And I really want to come out with more new kits, which I like having new kits every week, um, just because I think it's more fun for you guys. And I think there's still some summer lights left up in the shop today, and it's Thursday that I'm filming this. So um, I think that my estimations were about correct. So this doesn't have plans to be restocked, but if it does sell out super fast, like usual, I'll just bring it back in June. That's when the schedule kind of opens up again and I will bring it back. Um, I may just bring it back anyways because I love it so much. <laughs> so we will see. And then the newest kit and the newest edition that I released this week was the Vintage Wanderlust, and this is the Girl on the Go planning system that I started. So um, if you want to see all about that, I'll link the video below. I have a whole like long video of a description and plan with me and how to use this kit. Basically, there are eight long strips that go all the way down each of the days on the Erin Condren vertical planner, and it's all pre-planned for you. So you put it all down, it takes like five, 10 minutes, and your week is planned. I know. And then a bunch of little extras to like personalize it. So I'll walk you through it a little bit, but if you want to see me use it, I definitely recommend checking out that video. Uh, I explain everything and this is kind of like a work in progress kit. So it's called Girl on the Go, but that I thought about that after I'd already changed, like printed all these out. Um, originally, well yeah, it says Busy Girl Kit. I originally doesn't call it Busy Girl on the Go. And then I just realized, no, it should just be like Girl on the Go Kit, you know? So um, it says Busy Girl on these still because I didn't get to change it until like after I'd already printed these. But starting the next one, it will have the Girl on the Go. There will be a little front sticker label on it though that says Girl on the Go, so that will be clear. And so you get four pages in this kit and it's a full no white space spread. Um, yeah, I'll probably show you guys that in this video, but I'll, if not, I'll just link the thing below, the video that I talk about this all. And yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I need to say about it first before we get into it. These will be different collections. I've been quite a few questions about this. These will be different than my regular kits. My regular kits will not, I'm not saying never, but most likely I'm not wanting to bring these out in a full kit because this kind of already is a full kit, you know? So um, the Girl on the Go planning system will have its own unique kits that are not available in the full kits and vice versa. Like I won't make girl on the go kit versions of the normal kits usually unless it's some crazy popular seller because I just like having it do its own thing because otherwise I feel like I have so many different versions of the same thing. It's like eventually gets to the point like why? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's more fun to have unique versions of different things I think than like all the same. Like I get having the mini and full kit that makes sense but for this since it's like the same thing as the full kit just in like strip form like faster quicker um I don't really see the point in doing the same thing again. You know what I mean? So um, that's how I have it set up right now. I have it set up as to where these will be unique kits special to the Planet on the Go or Girl on the Go system. So, so here's the first little quarter sheet you get, and this has some of the customizable options. You have all the different quarter boxes, half boxes, appointment labels, and some icons. And then you have the bottom washi strips here, and then you have a couple more of the functional things and some label or you have um, flags, sorry, and then you have these little header type label things that, says, that say rescheduled, change of plans, canceled, and you have all your little things headers. And then you have a sidebar, and this is a full strip. So this whole th thing goes all the way down and you just line it all up and your week is planned. I love it. These are all individual little things so you can customize it yourself. This is the Sunday strip because they didn't fit on the other two. And then this is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So as you can see, this is all one long sticker. So it's all broken up. So you have your to-do list already built in. You have your glitter headers built in. You have all your full boxes built in. Like everything's built in, which I think is so cool. Like I love the whole concept behind this. Like I was just so excited with the idea that you just put the strip down and your week is planned. Like all the to-do lists are already built in. Everything's built in so you're ready to go in five minutes. You don't have to like add the to-do list in later or add any of that stuff in. Like it's just ready. So here's the full week. This is the second page, um, well I guess the fourth page, and you have the, um, so you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and like I said, the Sunday is on the wash, or the sidebar sheet. So um, I'm not like, I may mix this format up eventually. This is like kind of like a testing thing, like to see what you guys like, what you use, what you don't like, what we could change up and mix up. 
um, to like make this just even better. I feel like that's how I always do with my re or my new releases and reformats. I always try to make them like better as we go and see how you guys use it, what you guys like, and then we switch things up and make things over and it ends up being perfect eventually. So yes, yeah, so this is the Girl on the Go um, Vintage Wanderlust Kit. So this will be available tomorrow as well and in glossy or matte and yeah. So definitely check out that video if you're interested to see how that works. But it's all pretty like self-explanatory and super easy and I am obsessed. But I do have some good tips in that video. So definitely check that out if you're interested in getting this. And then our last release this week is the July monthly kit. And I'm bringing it out early like I do every month now for the early planners, international gals, anyone that needs to get it in advance. Um, and then it will be restocked again. Usually the first go around, it always sells out fast. It always sells out fast. And then when I restock it at the beginning of June, um, the restock like the month before, it never sells out quickly. <laughs> like I still have some June and May up in the shop right now. So if you're not able to get it tomorrow, then definitely don't worry about it. Come back in June when that um, when that goes up and you will have no problem getting it. So that also being said, if that stresses you out, like the rush to get them, then just, just wait till the beginning of June. Like I promise you'll get it then. So here is the July monthly. I decided to do another photograph kit. You guys loved it last month and I did too. I'm obsessed with it and I thought this one would be so fun. I'm not a big huge fan of traditional like 4th of July type colors like red and blue and white I feel like can get a bit overdone and very like bright I don't know I, I just wanted something a little different I wanted to bring in some pinks in this I still wanted to have like a hint of like 4th of July you can see for her outfit which I think is so fun and I love that a lot of you guys were telling me that your birthdays in are in July which would go perfectly with the balloons so I love that I'm super excited about that and yeah, I also have, I've also been a lot of questions about more photograph kits and I do have a photograph weekly kit coming out next week for our May mystery kit. And you guys, it is like a glorious kit. I've never seen anything like it and it's a like, I don't want to give too much away, but I did put a sneak peek on my Instagram and I will have a video up, a spoiler video up the day before, but it's like a vintage carnival and it's all photographs and you guys, it is just like, absolutely breathtaking and magical and like glorious in every single way like I am so excited for that I cannot wait for you guys to see it you guys are gonna love it so I am doing some more photograph kits it's not taking over forever but right now I'm really digging it so I'm gonna do more photograph weekly kits and I still love the monthlies especially these giant like huge box ones for those months it just works so perfectly because there's such a big space to fill and I think it's just stunning so that being said, here is the first page of the July monthly. I definitely have a lot of pinks in here, which I love, but I definitely bring in more blues and reds and like more like a fuchsia um, as we go. So here's the second page. So the other side of it says, let your dreams take flight, which I love. I love out the balloons. And then you have a little date cover up for the top of the um, extra days that are, you know, from last month. And it has a little August preview calendar like normal. And then I have a little 4th of July sticker here. I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want anything too crazy. Um, just keep it simple. I, I don't know. For me, I feel like I talked about this last year too in the monthly plan with me, but like the 4th of July, I feel like the whole, I don't want the whole month to be dedicated to the 4th of July since it happens so early in the month. You know what I mean? Like for Halloween, it's fun because Halloween's at the end of the month. So you have all months to look forward to it and get into the mood and spirit of it. But 4th of July is like literally four days in and then the rest of the month is like nothing with 4th of July. So it's kind of like, I don't really want my whole month to be dedicated to the 4th of July when it happens so fast at the beginning of the month. If that makes sense? I don't know. Anyone else? Is that just me? It just happens so fast. So... I don't really want my whole month to be like super 4th of July personally, but I do love like seeing people spreads where they are like super 4th of July, super gorgeous. Um, but personally, I just, I'm, I'm like July 5th. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, we're moving forward now. <laughs> and I feel like there's a lot of birthdays in July and stuff too. So add something to celebrate. And I just, yeah, I don't know. So it was my two cents. And then they, I had enough room here for an extra little like half box, which is super fun. I feel like those are so useful. And then a bunch of just little labels for like appointments, whatever you need them for. And then you have the sidebar, which ends up lining up as this girl standing there with her cool, funky, bright shoes. I love them. So fun. 
and then you have all of the top headers and I did them in varying colors again this month, which I really liked. The pink looks really um, light on camera, but you could definitely see that in person. And then you have different icons and all the different colors. I decided to keep like fewer pinks of the icons because there's so much pink in the rest of the kit that like I wanted to bring in a little bit more of like the fuchsia and pretty blues. And then you have the like dark navy glittery like strips to block off vacation days or just block off time. And then you have three full boxes, which I love the varying stroke on the outside of like the boxes. I just think that's so fun, all the different colors. You have your bill dues, you have the three little labels up here, and you have four flags. So that is everything for the July monthly kit. Like I said, this will be coming back again in the beginning of June. So yes, that is the July monthly. And then we have one more extra kind of thing happening this week. You guys loved last week when we did Penelope the Penguin for the first hundred, for the first hundred orders. And this week, I decided to do Sammy the Sloth. And he will be the $50 freebie on Friday. So if you spend over $50 before shipping, then he will get put in your order. Um, so it'll, the time range that this will be available will be Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when the new releases go live. And then we'll end 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time because that Etsy uses the East Coast time. So that's when it switches over to the next day. And otherwise, I will not know who placed an order on that day. You know what I mean? So if you place an order after 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, that's past midnight on the East Coast. So Etsy will mark it as the next day. And then... Yeah, so I have to keep it at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I mean, how cute are these? I love these little stickers. They're so fun. I am thinking about making full sheets of these and Penelope the Penguin. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for that. Right now I'm having fun designing them as freebies, but I think eventually I will bring them out as full sheets. Um, I just need to wait till my schedule lightens up a little bit for the produc production schedule because we got a lot that is happening right now with um, bringing these kits back. So that is everything that is coming out this week. We have the July Monthly, we have the Girl on the Go, Vintage Wanderlust, we have the Garden Party Mini Kit, we have the Garden Party Ultimate Sheet, the Garden Party Appointment Labels, Garden Party IMAX, we have the Garden Party Full Kit, which you guys know I am just like losing my mind over. And then we have all of the Misfit Floral stuff. We got the um, ultimate sheet, the appointment labels, the IMAX, the full kit, and the mini kit. So we have a lot of stuff coming this week. Super exciting. We still have a lot of stuff up in the shop. We have like a lot of Cabo kits. We still have a lot of Palm Desert kits. We still have a lot of, um, I think we still have some June and May monthlies. And I think we still have some summer lights up. I feel like there's more too. I feel like we have a lot of stuff still up in the shop, which is awesome. That's like my number one goal. So I hope you guys like this week's releases. Let me know down below what you guys are thinking about picking up. And I cannot wait. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on my main shop, just like usual. And yeah, I hope you guys like these releases and love this video. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.